Well, I could tell you that she is not going to be at work this morning, but considering we spoke to her about 3 a.m. and the weather is getting colder, uh, she was very talkative. And honestly, when we first heard about the story, it was hard to believe. So we wanted to see it to believe it. Here's what we saw when we went down here to the Hennepin County Government Center. Her name is Miss Hurt, H-I-R-T, a local teacher. She chained to a fence outside the Hennepin County Government Center. This was overnight. Now, we asked her, you know, why is she doing this? And she told us it was to raise awareness about social injustice. And obviously, with the Derek Chauvin trial, it's day two starting here in just a few hours, this was planned. This was premeditated. She actually said she came up with this idea a couple of days ago. Take a listen. No one is listening and no one is making the changes. And I'm really sick and tired of waiting for someone else to fix this. My one daughter is like begging me to come home. You know, hearing that fear in her voice, is something bad gonna happen to you? And I say, no, there's nothing to worry about. I'm okay, everything's fine. And remember, we're making the world a better place. And that is a, a valid question for, for a child, for a daughter and her mother. Are you going to be okay out there overnight? You know what? Uh, we asked, and she, we don't actually know how long she's going to be out here. She, she's just behind us over there. Uh, after this live shot, we're going to run down there, see if she is doing okay, Miss Hurt, and then we're going to check back in with you all. Yeah, Xavier, I'm curious. Does she have a support system in place to bring her food and water, or is yeah. she relying on the uh, passers-by's kindness? You know what? She wasn't out there alone. There, there were a handful of people, and I'll be completely honest. She had a, 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 a little uh, thing of snacks right over here to her right. Uh, she looked like she was doing okay, uh, but, you know, that was when the temperatures were in the 40s as opposed to right now where it feels like they're in the 20s. All right. Well, we'll see how long she stays out there. Thanks for that update, Xavier. Yeah, and demonstration.